creating? I, I think you've hit the nail on the head. <clears throat> I actually split into three areas. One on the acquisition uh, and the structuring. Number two on the actual journey through whether you're doing property development or investing the lifetime of the company. And number three, exit. Mm. And I know we're going to get into all different details. So if we start with the number one, the acquisition, depending on what you're acquiring, um, the structures can change and the advice can change. So three key areas when you're acquiring property. First, you have to decide whether it's commercial or residential you're acquiring sure, sure. Uh, and what type of residential you can acquire as well. So this will change the answer. Um, and then you can then uh, take advantage of stamp duty land tax, uh, SDLT quite hefty these days. Number two, you've got to think about is VAT if you're buying commercial property. Let's use that example. And number three, the area that a lot of people forget, the legendary capital allowances. Mm. So if you think about those three on acquisition of a commercial property, very important to get your uh, property tax specialist involved in that. Mm. Then, depending on the answer to those, then you structure which entity you're gonna put them in. Yeah.